Hello everyone, this is GameBro64. This time I'm bringing you guys a gear setup video for a level 130 Fire Wizard. Uh, some pieces are changing, most of the pieces are swapping from Paradox to Dragoon due to the Dragoon set bonus being out into the game. And so now every 130 Wizard should pretty much be moving over to the Dragoon set from the Paradox set. So, uh, lots of changes to this set, uh, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. Uh, the total set, or the total stats are down in the bottom right hand side. Uh, ignore the jewels that are already on each of these pieces. Some of the pieces I got off the web, some of the pieces I already own, some of the pieces I hey, just had to look up in the crafting station. Um, but ignore the, jewel, the jewels that are currently socketed into the pieces. The total stats is everything without jewels calculated and then on the furthest right hand side I've uh, displayed what jewel sockets are available for all the both the dagger and for the ring for the necklace and for the deck. Um, so you have lots of opportunity and lots of customization to the overall stats currently to the left of the jewels available. Um, but first we have the Dragoon hat fire hat. It's going to be part of the Dragoon set so that we can get one of those uh, seven pieces and they get some of the bonuses off the uh, set itself. Then we're going to be running the Malastair robe. Um, you could eventually upgrade this. You could potentially upgrade this to the rattle robe or the uh, uh, Corporal Tennyson robe that is the light brigade armor. You could upgrade it to that. Just however, you got to be careful of your accuracy and your or accuracy and armor piercing. Uh, the Dragoon Boots is the next piece of gear. Uh, that's going to give us two pieces so far if we include the hat and then also the boots so that if we look at the adjustments for the Dragoon Fire Set we'd get an additional six extra fire accuracy which is really strong considering we get accuracy off our hat and then our robe and then the additional six percent off of having the boots and the hat be part of the same set gives us 32 fire accuracy. So we don't need to use any triangle socket um, accuracy jewels because we get it from our hat and our robe and then the set bonus because we are also wearing the boots. Uh, the wand is going to be upgraded, finally upgraded, from the Polarian wand to the Witch Hunter wand. You could try to sw uh, like squeeze in that Sinbad wand. I was trying to do some calculations, but I just couldn't squeeze in the Sinbad wand without having to put critical in the jewels and I don't really want to as you can see the edge of the shadow web has armor piercing and I like armor piercing more than critical jewels just because you can get up to 18% armor piercing jewel 18% uh, armor piercing from your jewels alone so that's a huge amount just from your jewels uh, so I'd rather go less damage and more armor piercing uh, than having to go uh, and give up my armor piercing for critical so that I can run more damage. So I just, I don't want low armor piercing. So that's that's my sacrifice and that's my trade-off as to why I'm running the Witch Hunter wand versus the Sinbad wand. Uh, if you want to run the Sinbad wand, you can. You're just going to have to put critical in your jewels so that you can get the max crit. Um, and then you'll be short armor piercing, so... It's, it's just, it comes down to preference pretty much. Anywho, Witch Hunter wand there. And then the next is the dagger, which is the edge of the shadow web. Ignore the jewels for now. I'll add them in at the end. Uh, but uh, ultimately that's going to be the new dagger because it gives the most damage. You don't need the Darkmoor dagger anymore unless you just want to run it. Uh, this gives more damage. Plus the two armor piercing on the Darkmoor dagger isn't uh, like needed anymore because you have... 32 from just the first three body pieces and then the set bonus. Um, so that's useful there. The necklace, this necklace can actually be the Morganth if you prefer five less crit, a little less armor piercing, and then uh, just the blade pretty much is why you want the, the Morganth one. But if you don't care about the blade versus the bubble, then you can go the Shane Von Shane necklace, is what, which is what I'm running, the Daystar. Um, then you have the Dragoon Ring. That's going to be the third piece, giving us an additional 7% storm, uh, bleh, not storm, fire. Giving us an additional 
seven fire damage. Let's say it slowly, Jared. There we go. Then next we have our pet. Uh, it's going to be on the bottom left. The pet will be a quint damage, or sorry, no, a uh, quad critical double damage pet. Um, this critical socket, um, or the socket on the pet I have included, you need to have that there. I have not included that on the bottom right hand list of jewels to uh, put or like available for you uh, free of charge or whatever. You need to have that in your pet. Otherwise, you need to run crit jewels in your sockets so that you can afford that missing 23. And the best way to like make sense of this, if my total stats is 843 critical down in the bottom right, and I subtract 23 crit from that, I no longer have 837 critical. I will have below that, thus I won't have 100% chance of critical. So we need the 23 there. All the other sockets you can make up on your own. Um, and then I'll tell you how to adjust them to get better results in the, in the end. Uh, and then the mount is going to be the two damage mount, universal. Uh, if you get the gold tree mount, which is three, then you just add one more damage to the overall damage on this build so far. And then you'll be at 154. Uh, the deck is going to be paradox deck. If you don't want to run this deck just because you're short on supply of like copies and stuff, Omen or Rasputin is good. Just make sure your crit is uh, manageable. You don't go down and crit and you don't lose the max crit. I think you have a few points to spare. You probably have like six points of critical to spare. So you might not be able to downgrade to Rasputin. You might be able to downgrade to Omen, but you just have to check it out. I, I can't remember the crit off Omen for fire. Uh, and then, of course, the set bonus, just the 6% accuracy for two pieces, seven additional damage, and 140 pip conversion for three pieces. Uh, pip conversion is useful, especially for this build, because we're also running the Witch Hunter wand, which gives us 203 uh, pip conversion. And then if you're 130, you automatically get, I think, 225 pip conversion. So if you add up all the pip conversion, we're sitting at 568 pip conversion for this build, which I think is almost like 50%. So that's really, really strong considering fire uses stuff like uh, Reign of Fire, which is 9 pips, uh, Fire Dragon, which is 7 pips, FFA, which is 5 pips. They use those odd number of pip spells, so if they ever had to use uh, an extra power pip, so if they had to use like 3 power pips, uh, which is a total of 6 pips for FFA, then they have a 50% chance of gaining back that missing pip. Because FFA is 5 spells and they use 6 pips technically just to cast a 5 pip spell. So they have a 50% chance of getting that pip back. Which is nice. Which is thus called pip, con pip conserve. Um, so overall you have max critical. 153 damage unless you upgrade the uh, mount to the Golter mount. Then you have 154. The resist is 28 universal. Uh, you can sacrifice damage off your pet for more universal resist if you prefer to have more tanky resist. Um, that's what I recommend versus trading something else out. Uh, unless you just see something else that might be more viable, you can do it that way as well. Uh, accuracy, 32%. So it's max accuracy for all fire school spells, including Scion, Raging Bowl, and uh, that fire princess lady that I always seem to forget her name. Um, 84 pip, uh, 84 power pip chance. This is low and you want a hundred percent. And this is how you can do it. The fire paradox deck, as you can see, already has 10% in there. That's excluded. I didn't count that in, but if you did count that in, it would be now 84 power pip chance or sorry, 94 power pip chance can't add. And then the dagger, the edge of the shadow web, you can add power pip chance in there because you don't need that 12 accuracy there to hit max accuracy, you're already sitting at 32%. So change that over to also another 10% power pip jewel. And then thus you have 104 power pip chance, thus max power pip chance, plus 50% pip conversion, give or take. So that's pretty nice. You have a potential of gaining three pips in one turn. One would be a power pip for the next turn, and then one white pip in case you had to use pip, pip conserve. Uh, armor piercing 15%. However, off to the right hand side, we have three circle sockets available two off the dagger and one off the ring. Uh, those are going to go into armor piercing, or they can go into critical, and thus you can sacrifice some crit off your pet for more damage if you prefer, whatever the choice may be. I prefer the armor piercing just because I just always valued armor piercing more than just a little bit extra damage. 
So you can get up to 18 off the critical or 18 off the circle jewels. And then you have three of them. So 18 plus 15 would be 33 armor piercing, which is an insane amount of armor piercing. And uh, definitely preferred to go higher. But 33 is good for now. Uh, the Shadow Pit Chance is going to be 9% because you have the 2% off the rope, 3%, and 4% off the hat and the boots, uh, giving you a total of 9%, which is the new standard now from the Paradox, which was, I think, 7 or 8 or something. Um, pip, conver uh, pip Conser... Ah, golly, can't speak. Pip Conversion is already at 568. I do not know the rating on this just yet. It's a little bit different than Critical. I think it's like 50-some percentage. But uh, I'll have to double check when I get all this gear, obviously. Uh, health will be 6,662. Uh, this can go higher because you have two tier sockets available off your dagger and your ring. So if you put like 125 health jewels in those, you can go up additional 250 extra health, giving you really close to that 7k health. Uh, anywho, this is the overall setup. Um, this is what I would see as a really good potential for 130 fire wizards. You can obviously go higher by giving up your armor piercing, go to critical, take the crit off your pet, or upgrade your wand up to uh, Sinbad. And then you don't necessarily, then you can get more damage. You can get 10 more damage if you upgrade to Sinbad. You're just missing out on like maybe 12 armor piercing maybe even six if you're lucky if you get the right jewel but uh either way you're missing out on crit i think one jewel would do it because you can put you can lose six armor piercing and then put 18 critical into one of those circle jewels and then you have you can then you have 18 extra critical to spare so you can actually downgrade from 132 crit off the witch hunter to 115 for the sinbad one and then you can go up 10 more damage so if you value 10 damage or six armor piercing it's, it's your preference but uh, you can definitely go higher than this depending on what you value for your jewels and also what you have currently in your jewels so that's pretty much it to this video um pretty basic stuff you're just upgrading to dragoon swapping your wand around to either a pack wand or a bundle wand you no longer have to run the uh, Polarian wand that gives 180 critical and 7 universal accuracy. The set bonus gives you that accuracy, so you no longer have to run that wand anymore. And then you just have so much crit in this game that you just have to put it in the right spots to make it the most effective. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Also, uh, I plan on doing uh, other set builds and set uh, gear guides and stuff for other schools. Um, but if you like these types of videos, please let me know. Otherwise, it's a pain of grinding out all the pieces of gear and then doing the video that way. This is just much easier putting all the pictures together and then telling you the overall stats. So it's easier to uh, grind out a video. Anywho, I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks so much.